PJ Fuari, here is Coast Guard 2. Coast Guard 2, receive. Yeah, BJ Fari, this is Coast Guard 2 for radio check on 2524, please. Yeah, BJ Fari, I'm ready, you're loud and clear, Roger. Romeo, BJ Fari, ten boy. The Australian Volunteer Coast Guard has almost 10,000 members stationed in 50 flotillas around the Australian coast, from Mossman in far north Queensland to Adelaide. It's now 14 years since the first Queensland flotilla was set up here on the Gold Coast. Weekend magazine reporter Michael Meadows looks at one day in the life of this flotilla of volunteers. It's dawn on Queensland's Gold Coast. Coast Guard volunteers have been at work for hours. The first daylight task, more like a morning ritual, is to check the ever-changing conditions and channels on the Southport Bar. Issued 0600 hours, and weather forecast for coastal waters, Double Island Point to Cool and Gatta. Sea flush with the moderate southeasterly swell, 10 to 15 knots, southeasterly. Isolated, scattered showers. This is VJ 4RE out. The Gold Coast is Australia's most popular tourist resort, and Coast Guard patrols are a common sight on this 50 kilometre stretch of the South Pacific Ocean. Southport Coast Guard responsible for the area of southern Queensland waterways as far south as Tweed Heads and the New South Wales border. The Southport Bar is just north of the city of the Gold Coast. Hundreds of fishing boats and pleasure craft cross this unpredictable stretch of water each year. It's claimed many boats. But because of the vigilance of organisations like the Coast Guard, fortunately few lives. Conditions on the bar can change almost by the hour. A strong southeasterly can see 10 metre waves here, and the shifting sandbanks make precise navigation crucial. 10 metre yachts and trawlers have foundered here, when that certain combination of tides and wind have turned the bar into a cauldron. Southport Bar separates the open sea from the 160 kilometres of waterways inside. It's called Broadwater, the main attraction for around 50,000 small boats which use this area 80 kilometres southeast of Brisbane. It's sheltered from the sea by South Stradbroke Island, and the fishing here is almost legendary. But the calm waters here can be deceptive and the Coast Guard does much of its work in here. It takes up to three years to train Coast Guard skippers to deal with the sorts of conditions they're likely to encounter on the bar. And at 24, Peter Williams is younger than most. He says crossing the bar is something he never takes lightly. You do when you're on a rescue. You don't think about it because you've got a job to do. When you're doing your normal patrols, you stop and think about it. You don't take it for granted so much then. 
Westpac Chopper, Westpac Chopper, this is VJ4RE, Southport Coast Guard. We have a man in difficulties in the water on the Southport Bar. Would you be able to assist? Over. Westpac Chopper, message understood. ETA, five minutes. Surf Life Saving Association operates this helicopter, specially designed for surf rescue work. The Coast Guard, sponsors like Westpac and other local firms help to ensure the chopper's always on standby to help when the familiar yellow shark hats could be 30 kilometres away involved in their own operations. Coast Guard 2, the big $40,000 9-metre shark cat, is the latest addition to the Southport flotilla, the flagship. It's designed to carry a full crew of four, as well as members required for special duties. A fully trained 12-man diving team is always on call. Divers may have to recover a body in the water, or help a game fishing boat, in this instance, disabled outside the bar. something as simple as a propeller fouled by a piece of fishing net. Because it's a voluntary organisation, the Coast Guard can't charge for services like these. All it can do is to rely on the goodwill of its customers, and donations are common. The organisation does get an annual state government subsidy of $10,000. The state government subsidy doesn't even cover the annual cost of fuel for the Southport Coast Guard's two boats, and so it's forced to raise money independently. Southport Coast Guard members raised the money for their Lotus Creek headquarters, and built it too. The latest addition is a new $40,000 radio room. Equipment here can monitor up to 13 marine radio channels at one time, Radios monitored 24 hours a day, every day of the year, and they can pick up signals from as far away as Townsville in far north Queensland. But its most important role is to coordinate Coast Guard crews in emergencies. Coast Guard 2, Coast Guard 2, VJ4RE, VJ4RE. We have a boat overturned on the bar and there's a man in the water. Would you assess immediately? Over. Amy, oh, VJ4RE. Coast Guard 2 on the way. Coast Guard members belong to the State Emergency Service and can be called out to help in national disasters like floods and air crashes. The Southport flotilla can put 40 boats to sea in an emergency and has 200 active members. They all have the opportunity to undergo special training programs like first aid, coastal navigation and radio operation. 
the small red circlips mean the wearer has risked his or her life to save another's, and they're not handed out lightly. Jay Flari, Kajar 1, back inside Southport Bar, rescue completed, returning to base. There's often no thanks for crew members after long shifts of up to 30 hours without a break. Except for cups of coffee and endless packets of cigarettes. But somehow they keep coming back for more. It could be for the companionship, or the self-satisfaction. But whatever it is, it's brought together thousands of volunteers, men and women, willing to risk their lives for the safety of others.